So I was asked by one of my um, viewers to make a doll bathroom. She really wants a toilet for the slum house. So this is a gum container and this is what it originally looked like. I chew a lot of gum sometimes. Now, if it's for the Kella dolls because she especially wanted it for the small dolls. The porter potty, potty has a little lid, so we'll probably have to get a step so they can get up there. But that would be the lid for the small dolls. The lid for the bigger dolls is right here, but you want something here. You don't want just this. So what you do is you just take doing this on my kitchen table. I was doing this on a um, cart table. I would use an exacto knife to cut it out because it would be more exact. Then you have to bend it in half and it's so thick you're always gonna tell where you bend it in half you can also use this use foam for this sheets of foam which probably works just as well and you can do pink if you're one of the pink barbie people i was always partial to purple And then it's a little ridge so this can fit right into there. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Of course, they have no running water at the slum house, which is why they need a porta potty. Now, you can paint the inside of this white, or you can mod podge the top or the bottom, but you want to make sure that you still cut along here so it will open right here. Now, I don't know where my glue is, so I'm going to decorate this because this is not actually for the slum house. It's for the... Kids school and then I'm gonna put a star on top. Now these are abundance love trip stars. Gonna make sure that it can still open. It can still open with the star on top, and then there's a lovely little star, and you can mod podge some of this if you think the star is gonna come off. I really like this. And these are popular. Um, I gave one away to a girl I was babysitting because she really, really liked it. Now, like I said before, there's still a star image on there. So I think it's cool just to sort of take that out. And then you get double uses out of it. You have to be careful to get the shape right when you're putting it on. And then you got another star. And you could also just paint the inside of that and then rip that off. And then you would have a painted star. So, I mean, these stickers from Abundance Love Trip are very useful. I'm going to do that, which is black and white. I'm going to use this. And they they don't just have stars um, on Abundance Love Trip. I'm sure they have hearts and regular round stickers. But with her paintings being all square, they you get square ones. And then 
can just pop them out and use them as stencils or just use them as the stickers with cutouts, which I like as well. And let's see how well this works because I didn't try this yet. I've never done this before. It's nice because it's a sticker because if you're using the regular everyday stencils, a lot of times they do not work. They shift, especially on something that's rounded like this. And then you have more more art and you can use more stickers and do that again. And I'm going to be showing you the finished piece very soon. So here is your finished product. It's very, very cute. I could maybe fit in like another black star there, but it's very cute. Now what I will maybe do is color around here, but um, when you're done and everything's dry, the this is dry, see that's dry, um, you know, coat it with a sealant or tape so this doesn't rub off because marker doesn't like to stay on um, plastic very well. You might try Mod Podge in a matte or a shiny finish, but finish, but if you're going on camera, choose a matte finish because the lights that you need to record, they're a little too bright and then it will be too shiny. But this is the Kelly Toilet. Also, probably going to end up making another one for his bum house because of course they don't have running water. So they would need a either composting toilet or a porta potty like this one. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and have a great day.